Hey guys, Infidel1258 here. Today I want to talk to you about Rebellion sets, the airdrop cards, the importance of this specific moment with respect to the new airdrops that are coming. The Rage legendary airdrop from Rebellion looks amazing. It's available. You, on f four days from today, there's an opportunity to start earning it for free, incidentally, through ownership of your other cards. And I actually think this is a very important moment. I wanna unpack why I'm gonna show you what I'm doing right now to prepare. There's actually some actions that need to happen today if you wanna take advantage, I think. And so I hope you stick around for the video and follow along with me as I walk through my journey of trying to get more and more legendary airdrops and just airdrops from this Rebellion set. So let's get into it. And first, I need to point and give kudos to an amazing YouTube content creator around Splinterlands. One of my favorites. I watch almost everything he creates, Gathering the Magic. He's a friend of the channel. He's, he's a fellow Time and Attention Guild member. He, he covers a lot of this amazing game. This is him here. This is a video. Not, not that. Um, right there. This is one of his videos, Gathering the Magic. Uh, is his channel and this is the video that i'm i'm referring to today it's the thumbnail says how to get guaranteed airdrops it's a 10 minute video i've watched it twice this morning from start to finish because the data he shares in there is too important again there's so many times with splinter lands this game that rewards you for your time and attention where you will have this unique moment if you're paying attention if you understand what you're hearing if you find if you're willing to put in the effort to find actionable paths through that moment, you're going to find disproportionate returns. And I think this could be one of those moments. It usually happens when there's a new issuance of cards. So new packs have represented a new opportunity or the end of an old pack. It's transition moments. And right now we're transitioning into something entirely new with how we deal with airdrops. Usually it used to be the case where if you bought packs from Splinterlands and you bought X number of packs, you would receive X airdrops. Plus there was some, um, there was some luck involved. But now you need these mage wagons so there's a voucher consideration vouchers have pumped three from 3.5 cents to four cents in the last day because of this so you need vouchers you need 50 of them to make one mage wagon i have 500 i'd love to start i'd love to do 11 of these mage wagons and i'll unpack in the video why i'm aiming at that but truly it's about whether or not you do if you value these legendary airdrops and i covered one on twitter follow me there this time and attention is my account over there. This is one of them. Rage is the monster. Amazing abilities. Weapons training is overpowered and super important. This card is super expensive mana wise, but this will absolutely be powerful. It's, it looks like a carry card to me. It looks like a must have legendary, especially if you're you know competing at the highest levels in this game. Sometimes these cards are amazing and you can skip over them if you're just kind of floating around at a lower league level. But if you want to fight and champion, a card like this is going to be too important. And I want 11 of them. In fact, I want gold foil copies of this. I want lots of them. I want more of them than I can use because I believe both they're going to be scarce because every card in Rebellion is quite scarce, actually. But secondly, because I think they're quite powerful. Not all of the Rebellion cards, but this one, definitely. And all of the airdrops usually are really, really overpowered. If you look back at Untamed, if you look back at Chaos Legion, usually the airdrops are the best of the best. And so I want to get going on this airdrop process and you need to start early. Like this January 23rd, which is four days from today, will be the first day that you can start earning these cards. You don't earn them right away. You earn points, which will add up to be chances to receive this card. I explained all that in a different video. I don't want to go too far down the rabbit hole, but today I'm talking about preparing because I think this is a unique moment. All these the, the conversation I've had so far with you in this video is really just to set the stage for how important and unique this specific moment is. I think with vouchers, this is unique. I think with rebellion packs, this is unique. I think with rebellion card assets, this is unique, meaning they all have an opportunity to see something exciting happen in the next few days and over the next few weeks, because I think partly you're going to see packs move because people want to hold packs within their battle wagons or their mage wagons. You're going to see that people are going to be surprised how few people come online on December, January 23rd on that first day. And so the points available are going to probably be, it's going to be easier to secure more of the, of the airdrop chances than maybe you will in the second or third or fourth airdrops because more and more people will come online later. So I think, you know, proportionally speaking, you can get a bigger footprint if you just act quickly. So that's why preparation now, recognizing the opportunity now, there's a transition unfolding in front of us. If you attend to it, there's an opportunity wrapped up in that. 
So I think the card's worth your attention. I think the card's going to carry a good value. I personally want it. So I'm trying to position myself in a way where I can get the most of it. And again, coming back to, to Gathering's video, and I really encourage you to watch the full 10 minute video. I'm going to link it in my description because it's so, it's, I told him it's the most important video I've seen on covering Splinterlands within the last six months. And it might be even longer than that. It's so important because he talks about it in depth about the numbers, the, 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 is precise numbers and calculations at every card level that you might want or need to fill your battle wagons or mage wagons so that you can expect to receive one guaranteed airdrop. And all of the numbers that he calculated are, you know, it's again, it's at every price point. Like if you feel you, you know, if you want to get into the common regular foils, he talks about how many uh, copies you're going to need and how many rares at regular foil, epics, legendaries. All of the gold foil copies as well what does that look like from a number of bcx standpoint but also a, therefore a us dollar standpoint and and i don't want to ruin the whole video but i just need to reference it because it's so full of important data that i needed to do this video where i'm like i'm acting now like i'm even at 54 cents for s xrp i strongly considered selling three thousand us dollars worth of xrp today now this would be a 3x on my entry point maybe even a 4x on my entry point uh on xrp so you might think well go for it like you, you're already up i i predict f really great things for xrp i'm waiting for like probably another 6x or even maybe a 10x on that on that coin i could be wrong about that and i might be waiting for you know um something to happen that's never going to happen I don't want to fight that fight with you today. I just want to say my expectation is that. And so it's that expectation is making it really hard for me to let go of those coins at these price points. And so I'm thinking, what can I do? How can I get creative? Am I going to liquidate SPS? Well, SPS right now was at 2.3 cents. I think everybody is trying that actually. I think in the last day, we're down 11%. I bet a lot of you people who are going to watch this video sold some SPS today because you like what you're seeing with vouchers. You like what you're hearing about these airdrops you're probably buying if i if i had to guess that liquidity is probably up on chaos legion or i mean rebellion pack sales because not only can you put cards into these mage wagons but you can put packs and um the number of packs you need is if you want to get one guaranteed airdrop is going to be 280 so that to me feels financially just a bit excessive he talked about how he he covered how that was probably going to be around like 1200 bucks if you wanted to do just packs right and so that's a lot of money for one guaranteed airdrop. I'd rather just wait and buy the airdrop. And that ultimately might be what some of us end up doing. If you end up hearing this video and say to yourself, you know what, I can't move in a major way to take advantage of the airdrops, but I do like what I'm hearing with respect to how rare those legendary uh, airdrop cards will be, then maybe it's just about positioning yourself so that at the end of this airdrop, you can you can enter into this card and then maybe it's about looking forward to that opportunity which is three four weeks away and then uh, recognizing that if you look at cards like mantaroff they came out and they were selling for 25 bucks and now they're at 50 bucks maybe there's an opportunity with that in rage i don't know i don't know i'm not i can't say for sure this card will be listed low or that it'll appreciate after it lists but in moments of turmoil, in moments of transition, you should really pay attention. And that's what the focal point of what I'm trying to do right now and what I'm hoping I can encourage you to do. Not so much to take any one particular action or to follow what I'm even doing, but I am making moves in order to take advantage of what I see as, an, as a unique opportunity. Meaning, I want this card and so I think to myself, I don't really want to sell my XRP. I might sell some, I probably will. I think, in fact, I'm going to sell a few thousand just to get a few hundred bucks in my pocket to get some of this going. Cause I think, and again, this is gonna be a long video. I'm just only setting the stage and explaining, but there's so much more to unpack that I wanna share with you. Like for instance, the, the opportunity is not just in vouchers. It's not just in, you know, in getting cool airdrops. It's in the price appreciation that's possible with the rebellion cards themselves right now. And, and, I, and so I'm willing to almost sell most things that aren't nailed down even at a loss, even at a not a huge number right now, because I actually think there's a unique moment right now over the next four or five days, even weeks thereafter, but really pronounced moment right the, today, where if, you, if I'm moving into rebellion packs or not rebellion packs, but rebellion cards, I think there's a really exciting opportunity to get that. If you can get rebellion packs under four bucks, I think you're going to see the, the value of the cards increase and therefore you're going to see the, the value proposition of tr open, buying and opening packs growing. 
So it looks like right now the rebellion pack prices for the cards inside is worth 436. So you're you're already profitable. Like there's profit to be had right now because people are buying cards today, yesterday on the news of battle wagons and mage wagons again is what they're called. And so I think this is going to happen more and more and more. Because I actually, again, watch Gathering's full video, but suffice it to say, there is not even close to enough Rebellion cards on the marketplace. Not even close. So what that looks like is like, if you need 14 max commons to get one guaranteed airdrop, that's not possible. Period. Period. 14 max commons. Okay, look, these are, these are all your commons. How many commons you got? Just regular foil. 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, uh, 28, 29. Okay, so 29. You need half of those maxed out to get one guarantee airdrop. First of all, that's three battle wagons, right? Because you only allowed five units per, per battle wagon. And then how are you going to do that? How are you going to max out Chaos Orc when there's only 676 copies on the marketplace? Now, sure, there's 327 right there. I, I like a very reasonable six 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 cents uh but watch how quickly the price grows after that seven cents 7.5 7 7.8 7 8 like there's just no way that you can do that now maybe you can do that one person listening to this video can do that with 676 cards available um the total the total bcx because of the ones like that are going to have more so it's going to be you know with chaos orc maybe two people can do it because of that bcx that multiple that larger card but I mean, most of these are not like that. Even with ones like this, look, there's 383 cards available. One of them has 125, one of them has 30. Rest of them look like they're ones. So I'm telling you, it is not even close to 6.6 .6 cents, which is the, the price that they say, they quote on the on the window there. 6.6 .6 cents for the low buy. Uh, it's that's not the price the market value six cents no it's not it's 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 at that price because no one is currently moved in this moment for to chase after these rebellion airdrops but this writing on the wall to me record implies like a doubling of these card prices in the next couple of weeks even if a hundred people want these airdrop cards do you see how absolutely bone dry the marketplace becomes for these for these reason for these assets now truth be told and there's a second side to every coin right that argument is that i'm saying there's a there's x amount of supply it'll be gobbled up by this exciting new opportunity and i believe that's true the other side of the coin is if these if this liquidity dries up that will mean that the price doubles and then what will happen is there'll be new packs opened because people are going to start seeing that the contents of the pack is worth more than four dollars so they'll buy packs for four bucks and sell them for five or something thereabouts because the cards are doubling in price or or, or more and that's that changes the whole economy and now of supply so now your supply grows again but immediately that supply gets drawn out by buyers because demand is uniquely powerful for the next probably three to four weeks and then i think you see a drop off in demand so I'm saying there, there's a there's an opportunity today and tomorrow and probably not even after that. I don't even think in three days this opportunity is going to exist. I think it's now. Um, and so I'm selling things that I that I don't want to sell. I'm gonna like I said before I air this video. I'm definitely selling some XRP, not a lot because I love it too much. I believe in it bigger than it, where it's at. I'm not going to sell any SPS. It's too low, 2.3 cents. I bet you guys have been selling it. It was at 2.6 yesterday. So somebody out there is moving it down 11%. Why today? I'm telling you why today, because the, the argument and the opportunity in front of us right now with respect to battle wagons, with respect to airdrops, that's why. That's, that's my thinking anyways. I don't see any justification for moving down 11% other than that in the last 24 hours, do you? And so... Again, if people are positioning themselves to buy up Rift Watcher asset, no, I mean Rebellion af assets in anticipation of the airdrop moment because they think airdrops like this are going to be really scarce. There's only going to be 4,000 copies of this plus bonuses, so maybe 5,000. I don't really know the final total, but it's going to be a really exceedingly rare card. If you look at some of the other, I covered this in a previous video, but if you look at some of the other legendaries that are out there, like, I mean, Chaos Legion has 24,000 per legendary, but that's Chaos Legion. If you come into, I had to look at DICE yesterday to find comparables. So, I mean, DICE and Untamed, um, the legendaries are, uh, here's, a, here's an Untamed legendary, 
5,600. So maybe that's going to be comparable after all the, the extra bonus copies of Rage are created because it's 4,000 plus bonuses. But maybe it's more like these dice ones. Where's the dice one? Here's Dice Lens Master. And look at that, 3,200 copies. It's, it's going to be something in that ballpark of 4,000 to 6,000. That's a super rare card. It's not a particularly well printed card. If you look at even, if you even look at uh chaos no chaos legions super overprinted but if you look at some of the reward cards or betas or alphas like harklaw look at that massive prints compared comparatively so rage is a powerful card this is the first of many powerful cards from this new print you're going to see cool legendary summoners being airdropped through this process i'm super excited and i think now is the moment so i'm actioning it Again, I'm not really selling too much of my XRP, but I'm moving some of it at a loss, not a loss, a, a three, four X, but at a discounted price from my ultimate price targets, because I see this moment with rebellion being unique and powerful and now, and it's like, I'm willing to, it's like one, a bird in the hand is worth two in the bush. That's, that's a little bit what I'm thinking. And maybe that needs to be the title of the video because that's really the idea here. It's like, I don't want to sell my XRP, but it is up and I could go ahead and realize some of that just a little bit 10 percent of it maybe and move it into this option it's not it's not about waiting on the rebellion airdrops it's about getting some for myself what would that look like if i if i if i can muster roughly three thousand us dollars i bet i can create 10 guaranteed airdrops for each airdrop that's roughly what i'm i would love to see 11 or 12 and i if the if past examples are 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 Proved to be true still what it will look like is rage will have you know you'll need x amount of production points in order or collection power in order to receive one guaranteed airdrop for rage but then the price will go up for other cards for the next airdrop and the next why would they do that because more and more packs are being opened but also because these airdrops themselves the rage card will be put into future uh, battle wagons. Uh, and so as a result, the number usually grows. The expectation on, on how many packs you had to buy before grew and grew and grew with every release of every airdrop. And I would expect the number of CP required to receive a guaranteed airdrop will grow and grow and grow. So I say that to mean right now there's a really pronounced desire and i think there's gonna be a real movement towards rebellion in fact i've already seen it i should say too my card collection has moved from yesterday eleven hundred dollars worth of rebellion cards to twelve hundred today and so that's a ten percent ish bonus like on the prices because i think some people are acting but there isn't enough for everyone to act there's not enough space so uh in summary and and i, I maybe i'll wrap it here because there's i don't want to spend time un unpacking exactly what i'm going to do but i'll tell you what i'm going to do in summary, I think this moment right now with these with these uh, mage wagons is really special. It's the first time it's happened, and I want to be in on that. I think the airdrops are going to be powerful, meaningful, and I want them. Yes, I could simply wait and, and just buy the cards off the marketplace, but again, I showed you that they're going to be really rare. Not super... They're going to be pr pretty expensive, I think. I bet 25 to 50 bucks is probably going to be expected. I could just wait maybe and buy that card. But if I can create a way right now to access some rebellion cards that I don't already have, that I also want to eventually have, select cards that I think are super powerful, that I think will appreciate, and in fact, I expect will appreciate over the next four days in a meaningful way, double, triple, I think that's possible. And then uh, sort of build out my deck, grow the value, triple, maybe double or triple my, my, my money from wherever I brought it from, all while locking up assets that are going to earn me more assets, earn me airdrops. That's that's amazing. I think it's possible that I could set up, I could spend three grand, earn ten guaranteed copies of Rage, and that would be that would be across essentially three battle wagons. If I can get four full battle wagons up and running, and it's going to require me to explore the marketplace today. It's going to re require me to sell what's not nailed down. I I'm willing to sell some of my Chaos Legion cards, even though they're, I think they're woefully undervalued. I think they're truly, I, one day I will regret selling all my Lily Shield paws for this price, it's eight, nine, seven dollars. Like it's just, it's going to, I'm going to regret it, but I can always offset my regret because I'm going to be able to hold up the opportunity that I held 
uh, as a result of that sale. You don't always sell only things you hate. You sell things that you love and don't want to say goodbye to, but they create an opportunity because you sold them to move into something else. Previously, when I sold my kitty, people thought I was crazy. What, that's the best card in the game. What are you doing? It paid for an opportunity. And I sold at a moment, by the way, where the price has gone down since then. So it's like I, I knew something about that moment. Even if I couldn't articulate, even if I couldn't prove it to you, I sold it for three grand. Now it's worth a grand. I was right in that moment. And, 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 and I'm having that same feeling right now with this moment. I also, I, I had a tract of land. I paid 1500 bucks for that at one point, And I later sold those plots of land for four to $500 each. And people thought it was crazy. What are you doing? Land is going to be worth 700, 800, 1000, 5,000. And I agreed. And I said, yes, I believe it will be, but I don't think it's going to hold here and just go up and up and up. There's going to be ups and downs, ebbs and flows. And I said that and I was right. And now you can get a common plot for 30 bucks. You can get an unopened plot for a hundred. Like I, I was right. And I still love land. It's not that I, I hated land or I disbelieved in it. I believed in it, but I saw a unique opportunity to move into other card assets. It allowed me to buy tens of thousands of Chaos Legion packs, which allowed me to have a max set, which has changed my, my deck and my game forever. Uh, it also allowed a lot of other things. Plus I moved, I still have a substantive land portfolio. And so what I'm saying is, I feel as though this unique moment is in front of us and I want to act on it. I'm not telling you to do that and don't leave a comment suggesting that, you know, this, if this doesn't work for you, because my advice is not for you. I'm just excited and I want to share with the community people who I know love this game because this is what I'm doing. So I'm selling some of my uh, crypto outside of the game. I'm going to sell a couple, maybe 1500 US dollars worth. I'm also going to sell about $600 worth of Chaos Legion legendary cards that will sell quickly where there's already liquidity. You, you guys have already put bid buys on the market. These prices are practically free in my mind. In a year, two years, I'm certain people will laugh that they bought Lily Shield Pop for six, seven dollars. These cards are amazing and they just win all the time. I can show data on that if, if people doubt it. But if you even go to Splinter Coach and you just look at which summoners win the most often, Kelia plays a ton. What's next? Lily Shieldpaw, Immortalis, Quicks of Devious, Conqueror Yassic, Grandmaster Wraith. These cards win all the time, play all the time. They're amazing. And I shouldn't be selling them for five or six or seven or eight dollars. But I'm going to in this moment because I see a unique opportunity. And so it's not that I dislike Chaos Legion. I want more of it. But I'm I'm I think there's a unique opportunity and I want to strike while the striking's good. One bird in the hand is better than two in the bush. That's the thing. And that's what we're we're chasing chasing after here today. I hope I can muster three grand. And in so doing, I, I will, if I'm able to, I'll try and activate about 10, about three to four mage wagons in order to receive something like 10, 11, 12 guaranteed airdrops for rage. And then I'll augment as I get new rage, I'll probably put that into a battle wagon, etc. So this is the plan and it's going to require a lot of playing the market. I'm going to be selling some of my, you know, bid buy possible legendaries from chaos, anything else that I can, that's got a decent bid buy value uh, on the marketplace that I don't already need. And then I'm going to come in and I'm going to start buying up <coughs> the cards on here that I feel are, you know, good value. I might buy like that chaos orc I showed that has 300 and whatever, 327 BCX, but I'm really going to be focusing in on the gold foils because I think the gold foil epics are going to be the unique uh, path. I think they're going to be the cheapest way forward. And by the way, I'm always looking at like five different moves at once. If I buy the gold foil epics, they will have a unique land impact if I want to put them on the land. I don't think that'll be their ultimate destination, but you see how I want, I want to make sure there's multiple angles. Like I'm talking about possible price appreciation on the card. I'm talking about, you know, certain utility within the game from the card. I'm talking about finding the best prices within rebellion and utilizing those ones. Even if I don't necessarily love that card and I'm building my rebellion deck for the long haul, which is great. I'm getting airdrop points out of the thing and maybe I'm getting a, a worker for my land. And so it's like five or six different angles. And I think all of that said, I think we're going to see big prices jumps in these, in these cards, especially Epic gold foils, because they represent a real meaningful move in the collection power. And therefore the airdrop capacity, legendary gold foils are even better, but they, the legendaries are so, you know, sexy and attractive that they, they just get so much extra attention. Whereas the epics get slept on a little bit. People would rather have some of these cards on the market and I get it. They're right. Like these cards are amazing, 
But man, the epics are powerful too. And from a collection power standpoint, the, the epics can be can be more meaningful for your dollar than than the legendaries or even the rares or even the commons. Um, yes, the commons are cheaper. Yes, the rares are you know slightly cheaper, but you get fewer of the epics, and and so that's going to be mostly my angle. But I'm going to be taking from here, there, and everywhere so that I don't move the needle. I can't come in and buy just one of these cards because I would need too many copies. I'm going to move the market. I'm going to change the price point, and uh, and the path forward is going to be through acting quickly before you guys move. So I'm hoping I start buying these at 25, 25, 25, 26, 27, and I start filling my my three to five battle wagons. Uh, I th even if I could do 10 battle wagons, that'd be amazing, but it's going to depend on how, what, what price points I, I, I list my things for. I'm hoping for about 3000 us dollars. And I'm hoping that the $3,000 worth of cards that I buy doubles within the next two weeks. I'll report back if I'm right or wrong about that possibility, but I think it's a distinct possibility. Now the prices will probably deflate thereafter because you'll see card prices drive up the value of each rebellion pack. They're, they're for sale for four bucks, which means packs move, which means supply returns, which means prices come back down. And unless, unless people are really chasing after airdrops, what would happen in that instance is the prices would come back down. But if I see a doubling in the next two weeks of some of these key cards, I will probably sell those. I'll realize that return and I would then move that either back into some, maybe my XRP or maybe more SPS or maybe back into some super cheap Chaos Legion cards because everyone's going to be selling them, chasing after these airdrops, I think. So this is a unique moment. If you're paying attention and if you agree, then maybe you follow along, but do not take this. I feel like this is a high risk play. I'm not advising you. I'm telling you what I'm excited to be trying right now. And, um, thank you so much for following along for your support of the channel. If you watch till the end, I encourage you to let YouTube know, let the community know that you enjoy the content, drop that like, leave a comment and, uh, have an amazing day. God bless.